All right, this is going to be the first video in this whole playlist where I'm just going to be answering some Reddit questions. And you're going to notice that all of these videos in the playlist, I'm going to be pausing more often because I'm not going to be making any edits to the videos because I want to show you guys the raw footage of me solving the problem. So with that being said, let's get right into it. So on my screen over here, you can see that I have a question pulled up. Somebody's asking me how to create an Avery return address label 156667 in Excel and they want to use VBA code to do it. But I think that instead of using VBA, I think a better way is to just import the data from Excel into Word because it's a lot easier to to create the address template over there. So I actually don't have the the data for whoever, for the user asking this question. So I'm going to create I already created my own sample data over here it contains the name street address city state and zip code and so in a blank word document over here i want to just go to the mailings tab click on start mail merge and click on labels and then over here i'm gonna click on the drop down arrow and then click on avery because that's what the person wants and then the person the person wanted to get the 15667 one so i'm gonna go back to word try to find that over here 1567 yep it's over here then click on okay and so now you can see all these grid lines but if you don't see these grid lines for whatever reason then just go to table design go to borders and you could toggle on and off the view grid lines if you just click on that it's going to turn it on and off so i'm going to leave it on because i like to see the lines and so i'm going to go back to the mailings tab click on start mail merge and then click on step-by-step -step mail merge wizard. So if you click on that, it's gonna ask me what type of document you're working on. Click, I'm gonna choose labels, click next. I'm gonna, I wanna create the labels on the current document. So I'm click next. And I'm gonna use an existing list, which is the my data that I showed you before in Excel. So I'm gonna click on next, or I'm gonna, actually before I click on next, I'm gonna click on browse, and then I'm gonna choose where the data, the Excel worksheet is located. So that's going to be over here, Avery address labels. So I'll click on OK. And this shows you the preview of the data and it contains everything. It's looking pretty good. So I'll click on OK. So now we're ready to move on to the next step, which is arranging the labels. So I'm going to click on the first, first record. And I'm going to add an address block by clicking on that button over here. And this is going to show me a preview of what the address looks like. And so this looks pretty good. So I'm going to leave it as is. And I'm going to click on OK. But all of the other records, they don't contain the address block. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on this first record and then click on Update All Labels. It's basically going to put the address block on all of the other records. And so I'm going to click on next, which is previewing the labels. And so over here, you can see that my, all of the, all of the addresses from my Excel worksheet, it's in a nice, nice address card in word. And so that looks pretty good. Now, if I could move on to the next step to complete the merge. And so now I can print this out and I'm going to print this out and show you what it looks like. So I'm print all of it out. And then I'm going to print it out as a PDF. And so if I go to click on OK, then it's, I'm going to, I could choose where I want to put it. So I'm going to put it here and I'm going to call it Avery address label. Click on save. And so now I can go to my file directory and go to try to find the PDF, which over here. And so now it contains, you can see, there's a nice template for each of the address cards over here. And so, yeah, that's pretty much it for this video. Hopefully I answered the person's question and hopefully this video also answered other people's questions who had the same similar issue. So yeah, hopefully I see you in another video. Thanks for watching.